In this video, I will show you how I tried to delete my processor. I will also tell you later why I decided to do it. I, I had used this processor for a few months and then I had to do something about the temperature. So I decided to do it even though I never uh, did such deleting before. So it was a difficult decision to delete, de delete a $400 processor but I will later tell you why I had, I had no choice but to do it so if you have watched videos on YouTube uh, on how people uh, delete processors you might not see the full picture in videos all this process looks simple and easy and the gap between the heat spreader and the processor looks wider but in reality the uh, the gap is very small and you can hardly put a plate between the heat spreader and the processor so yeah, if you decide to do this i would suggest you to first watch this video to see uh, how i did it and how i damaged the processor i used a very thin blade and I tried my best to not cause any damage but after removing the whole heat spreader I was disappointed to see that I had damaged the PCB of the processor in multiple places as you can see I have marked the areas where I have damaged PCB of the processor and by exposing the traces you can see the copper traces uh, so I, I basically have rem I, uh, removed the PCB paint in some places so when you are deleting the corners are one of the difficult places uh, uh, you will find uh, difficulty in the corners and as you can see I have uh, the most damage I have done is in one of the corners so if uh, you watch the videos on YouTube you might think that there is a, a good uh, a big enough gap between the heat spreader and the processor PCB but that is not the case the gap is very small and I used a very thin blade uh, but even after that I ended up uh, doing what you are seeing on the screen so after I did this I was pretty sure that the processor is dead because uh, in some places there were multiple traces going to uh, the chip and now that I had uh, removed the PCB paint and by the looks of it I thought maybe I have damaged the traces too so uh, after uh, doing this I, uh, I decided to test it uh, so I, pu I just put some uh, uh, little uh, thermal paste on the chip and uh, I tested it and the processor uh, did work so that was good um, once I found that the processor is working I had to find a way to repair or do something about these uh, traces that are not damaged or uh, the PCB paint is now removed 
so when I when I first tested it I put on some electric tape on the these uh, damaged area areas uh, but the electric tape is too thick and the whole per whole purpose of uh, this uh, doing this was to uh, minimal uh, to remove the uh, gap between the heat spreader and the uh, chip processor chip so the electric tape is uh, too thick for this uh, the best option is uh, is to first clean all of all of the PCB and then use PCB paint uh, you can find it online you uh, apply later uh, PCB paint on these damaged area and then use UV light I to um, to cure it you can put it on in uh, sunlight that will do the job too and then you apply another coat uh, that would be the best option when I when I did this I didn't have PCB paint also I did not know if this processor was actually gonna uh, work properly because I only tested it for a few minutes so I didn't know if this is gonna pass the stress test and that it is not damaged in any way so I was in a hurry to just put it back in and uh, do some tests to see if it is working 100% correctly or I have caused some damage so uh, what I did was use a very uh, thin uh, painters tape or masking tape uh, I used very uh, little patches of the tape to cover these damaged areas. Uh, this is this was very important because we have to make sure that the nothing shorts uh, shorts out as the now the traces are exposed and the heat spreader is obviously conductive. So. Uh, the good thing about about the pen, uh, masking tape is that it is very uh, thin and it can uh, work uh, in uh, high temp. Uh, you can use it uh, in a high temperature uh, places. Uh, so it was the best option uh, after. Uh, after putting the tape on these areas I cleaned the heat spreader removed the, the black uh, stuff from it and I just put it on the PCB I didn't put any glue I then tested the processor using this different uh, Soft, uh, testing softwares and uh, thankfully the processor worked without any issues there were no errors and uh, uh, now uh, I, as I am making this video it has been one year since uh, I deleted this processor and it is working without any issues uh, I am actually making this video in the in my PC which is using this this processor so the purpose of the making this video was to show you that deal leading is not as easy as you might think when after watching the videos on YouTube it is quite risky and if I had damaged any of these traces a little more I am quite sure that the processor, processor was 
uh, was not gonna work there are few things that you can do uh, to m minimize the to reduce the chances of damaging your processor for instance use a thin blade uh, actually the very the best thing you can do is to use uh, a kit it is a I think 3d printed kit uh, that you can find on online uh, for few dollars but if this kit is not available uh, or you cannot purchase for some reason then and if, and if you have to use uh, the blade technique then use a very thin blade and when you are uh, when you are uh, inserting the blade in the uh, between the uh, heat uh, heat spreader and the processor make sure you are t uh, tilting it a bit uh, away from the PCB and towards the heat sink a uh, heat spreader uh, this is uh, to make sure that the uh, blade uh, does not uh, damage uh, the PCB of processor so that is the uh, one most most uh, this, this is the most important thing uh, you should remember do not uh, press uh, towards the uh, processor PCB and try to uh, create an angle toward uh, towards the, uh, the heat spreader and not uh, the processor PCB and also you have to uh, be very careful around around the four edges because they are the uh, they are uh, gonna be difficult uh, compared to the other straight lines uh, the, the reason I decided to go uh, with deleting this processor was uh, that when while I was using it uh, in while, uh, while I was using my PC the temperature would easily go uh, above 90 uh, Celsius the temperature uh, was going uh, above 90 uh, C all the time and if there I was doing some processor heavy stuff then I actually the there was uh, uh, CPF CPU was throt uh, starting to throttle so I had uh, uh, the first thing I, I had I, I did uh, was uh, purchase a, 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 a water cooler uh, I already had a single radiator water cooler but it was uh, even with that the temperature was going above 90 and then I uh, purchased a bigger three f uh, fan uh, wider and bigger uh, 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 wat water cooler uh, processor CPU water cooler and with that uh, the temperature stayed between 80 and 90 when I was doing uh, some processor demanding uh, stuff um, how, how, however the cooler uh, the pump of the cooler broke and then I had to go back with the single radiator uh, because the there was an issue with the replacement the the cooler was in warranty but there was an issue and 
even even if you install a good expensive cpu cooler water cooler uh, this processor without overclocking is going to give you uh, issues with the temperature and watching the temperature go above 90 or around 90 even with the uh, expensive CPU cooler is not something I like to see and so uh, I've, I had no choice but I to delete it because uh, I I was pretty sure that that would solve the issue for me and after uh, I did all of this and I nearly got away with uh, destroying uh, the processor I was actually able to solve this issue now the with the single radiator CP, uh, CPU water cooler the temperature I have never seen uh, go uh, above 90 no matter what uh, kind of work I do so the the difference is significant and it actually uh, helped me solve the issue of high temperature in this processor so there if you look it look at it that way whether uh, that is whether it will uh, solve the issue of high temperature or not then yes it is gonna help you as it did help me uh, and the uh, temperature is gonna stay between uh, around 70 celsius uh, even if you are uh, doing uh, playing games or uh, if you are doing very heavy uh, CPU demanding stuff then it is gonna hardly touch 80 C so this process uh, uh, this process is benef uh, beneficial but also at the same time it is also risky I hope you will find this uh, video helpful and if you did then please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up thank you